Hello everyone and welcome to About Farm NG. My name is Ademi Ahmed James and I'm one of the content creators for About Farm NG. So today we will be treating the topic of why rabbits refuse to feed their kids after giving birth. This is a problem most rabbit farmers face when their rabbits give birth and they refuse to feed their kids. So one of the reasons your rabbits may refuse to feed their kids is the feed you give to them. And number two thing is their maturity and number three is the way you handle the kids after the rabbits give birth to them. So let's talk about feed. There are two types of feed in you can give to your rabbit. Number one is grower feed and number two is breeder feed. So your, the grower feed is given to rabbit that are, that are purposely raised for meat. So what grower feed does to the rabbit is it converts every nutrient in their body to meat and it makes them grow fast. Why breeder feed is the feed you give to the rabbit that you keep in your farm for breeding. So you don't give um, grower feed to the rabbit you keep for breeding. Because if you give grower feed to the rabbit you keep for breeding, it won't let them produce breast milk when they give birth because all the nutrients they need to produce breast milk whenever they give birth to kids will have been converted to meat and it will have let them grow fast so these are this is one reason why your rabbits may not produce breast milk when they give birth and they will refuse to feed their kids because they are not producing breast milk so the two feed you have to know the difference between the two feed you give grower feed to the rabbits grower feed to the rabbits you keep or you are raising your farm basically for meat purpose and you give breeder feed for the rabbit you have in your farm for breeding purpose and number two thing is maturity if you if you cross your rabbits or if you breed your rabbits when they are not mature enough to give birth fine they will get pregnant and they will give birth but there is likely reason that they won't cater for their kids because they are not yet mature they are not yet mature and the mother instinct is not in them yet so when they give birth, it will look very strange to them and they may not cater for the kids. Number three reason why your rabbit may refuse to cater or feed the kids is the way you handle them. There's a myth surrounding um, if your rabbit give birth and you touch the kids, uh, the rabbit will refuse to feed the kids. Um, I would say it's true and I would say it's false as well. Because um, if the rabbit is used to you and the rabbit knows you as the owner, if the rabbit give birth and you touch the kids, nothing may happen to the to the, the rabbits we do fine with the kids and take care of the kids but if it's a stranger that touch the kids and the rabbit smell a strange odor around the kids the rabbits may refuse to feed their kids and secondly you as the owner may touch the rabbit kit as well and the rabbit will refuse to cater for the kids if you have a strong odor on your hand maybe you cut a vegetable that the rabbit that the rabbit is not used to the scent or you just apply um, a different perfume to the perfume the rabbit knows and you undo the kit with the hand. So the rabbit may refuse to feed the kit because the rabbit will feel like, oh, the, 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 the babies are not my babies. So they will refuse, they won't, they won't cater for the kids and they will leave the kids to starve to death. So if your rabbit give birth and you need to touch the kids, maybe they didn't give birth to the inside the next box and you want to pack them into the next box so i'll make the video on this later so how do you go about it um the number one thing you can do is so you can be on safer side you take the food that you give to the rabbit that the rabbit is very familiar with so you take the food maybe the feed or grass that they are used to or they are familiar with rub it on your hand you have to rub it on your hand and after rubbing it on your hand you can now take the rabbits and um, put them in the nesting box so the scents coming from the rabbit kit will be the scent the rabbit is familiar with so thanks for watching this video to the end if you are new to this channel would like to subscribe to the channel and press the bell button icon so you can get notified when i drop a new video we'll be dropping a new video every week 